for days. That is how long it's been since Decatur police shot and killed Steve Perkins in front of his home. Now a grand jury has indicted the officer who allegedly pulled the trigger. Officers say they were called to Perkins home after he pulled a gun on a tow truck driver trying to repossess his truck. A total of four officers responded. Three were fired. One was suspended after internal investigations found they violated departmental policy. WFO 48's Daquan Lee and Megan Plotka are live in Decatur with the very latest on the investigation as well as the aftermath and the public reaction. Let's start with Daquan tonight. Daquan, the biggest question here the public may have, will we ever get to see that body camera footage from that fateful night? No, Liz, we will not. However, District Attorney Scott Anderson has been very clear. The Perkins family will have the opportunity to view that video for themselves if they choose to. As a result of the facts and evidence presented in this case, the grand jury unanimously returned an indictment against Mac Bailey Marquette, charging him with the crime of murder. After months of investigations into the shooting death of Steve Perkins, a former Decatur police officer is now charged with murder. Morgan County District Attorney Scott Anderson announced Friday morning that Mac Marquette had been arrested for shooting and killing Steve Perkins in his front yard. Law enforcement agencies have denied repeated requests to see body camera video from the night Perkins was killed. Now his family will get to see it, but Anderson says he's keeping it from the public to avoid tainting the jury pool. My job is to seek justice and do it the best that I can. And the best way that I can seek justice is to make sure that everybody gets a fair trial and that uh, that can only happen if we've got the largest jury pool in Morgan County that we can have. He claims previously released videos created rumors and speculation. It's something he wishes to avoid since the video will be used as evidence at trial. As a result of posting uh, the door cam footage, you had uh, untruths, half-truths, speculations, innuendos, rumors, and, you know, it, it just goes on and on. And, you, and all those were shared. And so that, that evidence, while it is still good evidence, is tainted with opinions. Now, Anderson says Marquette was the only officer indicted because he was the only officer who used their gun. Now, that does not mean that the other officers may not still face charges. Reporting live in Decatur, Daquan Lee, 48, on your side.